so I get this question asked a lot and I have actually released a video in the past but I do understand when I did release it the game had only been out one two maybe it was even before the full release and it was in the pre-release of the game and this is about my settings so I'm going to be doing another video if you've already seen my settings video then obviously please do skip and go to another video or carry on with your day um, but yeah and uh, before you do skip, if you haven't joined the Discord, in the description down below, join the Discord. If you haven't seen the Twitch, we go live on Tuesdays and Thursdays over on twitch.tv forward slash idefwishide is a free. But let's run through my settings. But before I do that as well, if I show you, a lot of people are asking about my sales. So if I quickly go onto my ship, I set sail. And then you see my ship sails are these glowing purple. And a lot of people do ask, and I do cover it in most videos, how do you get them? Well, simply, all you want to do is you want to go to the store. So if I go here to the start and I press store, and then you want to go over to the currency pack, which is all the way over on the far right tab. And when you're in the currency pack, I don't have it on my screen right now because obviously I've bought it. But right next to this box of gold for 2,500 plus 500 gold, there is another box of gold called the seasonal box of gold. Now, what that includes is some gold sails and a skull with a crown emblem. And I believe it includes something else. But the sails, that sail pattern is the one that basically makes your secondary color your main color. So when you add the actual smuggler's pass um, color, here you can see that it's the Nightfall's Herald. The secondary color is purple and the main color is uh, black. When you put this color on the other sail pattern, the one from the currency store, it the, the, the pattern is mainly secondary color. And the first main color is actually a secondary color. That's how you get the full sale effect. So if you do want that, that's how you get it. And also a quick mention, the outfit I'm wearing is not currently available. It's in the week one store. So if you do want this, you're unfortunately going to have to wait for it to come back around. Ubisoft, if you watch this, uh, please bring it back to the store because a lot of people want to get it. Um, then if I press start and go to my settings, I'm going to fly through this as quick as possible for you. So I am on Xbox. Uh, I've got auto harvest off. Camera shake off. I've got cross play on. Now you can have it off. If you the difference between having it on and off is the leaderboard. So you've got the pieces of eight leaderboard. Depending on what you've got it on, or if you've got it on or off, you'll have a different leaderboard. You've got diver sales in combat on. Enable follow camera on. We've got anonymize your name off. Anonymize other players' name off. If I go round to my controller, I've got input settings default, vibration off. I never have it on. It obviously one, it drains your controller really fast. And two, it can be a slight distraction. Uh, we've got everything down here, aim assist on, but we've got all the lock strengths basically at 50% because we still want to be able to move the camera, especially if you're using bomb arms, you want to be able to aim in front. And if you've got two, two heavier aim assist, it's going to make it really hard to lead your shots. And um, we've got decouple camera off, a vertical auto orientation on, horizontal or auto orientation on, uh, invert, horizontal, non-inverted, uh, invert, non-inverted, uh, horizontal sensitivity 60 vertical 50 on and then as you go down shout out to Richie Giddens if you subscribe to me on YouTube while I'm making a video or if you follow me on Twitch while I'm making a video and you pop up I'll make sure to give you a shout out so if you go down sailing camera 60 50 if we go down to aiming camera that's 60 50 and then if we go down to aiming down sights camera that's 60 50 and then here on crow's nest I actually got 50 50 only because I don't use a crow's nest otherwise I would put it at 60 60 50 to make it the same spyglass 60 50 because the more consistency we can have on our aiming then we the muscle memory is going to be a lot easier obviously mouse and keyboard i don't have so i haven't put anything here um but then if we go to audio i've got my master volume at 60 the reason is because obviously if i'm doing a video with one of you guys i want you guys to be able to be heard and if i've got my master volume up the xbox prioritizes uh the game volume over the party chat vo volume so i've got it at 60 but you can have it 100 and then i've got my music volume all the way down you can have it at whatever uh, volumes you want. I haven't really made an audio setting for this, but yeah, if you want that, then go ahead and do so. My language English, spoken language English, and subtitle settings I've got off. Um, as you can see, everything's off. Now, in here, you do have some very important settings. So a lot of people have gone, how on earth have you got that thing on your screen that says shot fired and the orientation of your shots so if i go down to uh here for instance we turn the gameplay co closed captions off we can't see that anymore so if we put that on we get that distance to sound it tells us how far away they are um and then obviously if we turn this the sorry if we turn this on uh the one that shows the text color is here you should go to text color 
and you can obviously color pick or you can just go straight to the red like the one I've got and the background you want on the background color you want as uh, black if you want it like me and then the opacity you can have it as you want or you can have it as dark as you want I like it at 75 so it just doesn't completely linger on my screen it's still got a little bit of a uh, opacity for me to be able to see for it not like it's going to make much of a difference and then i have it on small as the text size and now i did at one point have it at large but it's way too large so just have it on small and have these that is how you get that on the side of the screen so it's in subtitles shout out to jedi8023 welcome to the death squad amigo if i go over to visual now we've got a screen display area which everyone knows you put it all the way to the max uh, and then I've got display settings as as well. I've only got a 50 50. I've kept not really touched anything here. Um, my interface, I've got my, if I click on customize user interface, now there's a couple of major settings in here as well. So behavior icon, if I turn that off, you can see above broadside there's something missing. This basically means that you've been aggroed or not. This is a massive thing that you want. Status effect as well, another huge thing to this game. So if you look at the ships right now, when you put it on, you can actually see how close you are to activating a crew attack, a burning effect, or any kind of effect on a ship. So this is huge. Uh, the name you don't need to have on. I have it on because obviously when I'm playing on my Twitch, I don't have is free on Twitch.tv. We can see everyone's names and we can get really flipping cool screenshots. Um, distance as well, so you can see how far they are. Maybe it makes it a little bit easier for you to aim your weapon. Because, for instance, if you look at the, the um, bombards, they've got notches to let you know 100 meters apart. So, uh, yeah, you can basically aim it up. The center being 100 uh, if you aim it down, then obviously you're closing that gap. And then you aim up, it's 100, 200, 300, 400, all the way up to the top. Player ship info, as you can see, it's bottom left. You're definitely going to want that on because you're going to want to see your health. Uh, and then your group's health, you know, it helps. I would just leave all of this on as you're going down here. If there's something that you uh, want to turn off, then feel free to do so. But having it all on just makes it a lot easier. If we go down, color blind settings, I've got off, text chat on, 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 medium. 100% and mature language filter off. Um, now you could have that on. I probably should have that on for my YouTube videos. But I, there's nothing really happening. I've actually got graphic modes on quality. If you are on an Xbox and your Xbox isn't running quality and it's running performance because your quality seems to be having difficulties, then you probably need to clean your Xbox. Now I actually uh, had this issue where my Xbox sounded like a blimmin' jet plane. There's two screws on the back. You take the two screws off. And once you take them two screws off, you can clean your Xbox so easy with a simple hoover and a toothbrush. That is all is required. But do watch some videos on how to do that um, because you could break it, but the chance of breaking it is like a 1%. Uh, then you've got depth of field and you've got motion blur off. Now keep both of these off because we don't want anything distracting our visuals because we want it to look as crisp as possible. So yeah. Guys, that was my settings video. I don't think there's anything else I can think of. So we've got the clothes. We've got the, the ship sales covered. And then if I went into uh, my store, one thing I didn't cover the other day, but obviously I come back to, we've got our features. But then if you go over, there's also something you can buy here in the seasonal. So don't miss out on that. Um, I've just done a video on the uh, how to get the heads. So you can get so many of them and complete your stuff and your rewards or your smuggle pass real quick. So hopefully I'll see you tonight on the Twitch. I definitely tried it. Ears are free. Let me know in the comments down below as well if you've seen it this far. And let me know down below if you want me to play Skull and Bones or Rainbow Six Siege tonight with you guys. Um, yeah, like, follow, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.